Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Juan Du from Shanghai Changzhen Hospital, China. I will present the updated result of the phase one open label study of BCMA and CD19 dual targeting virus CAR-T GC0 and GF for patients with relapsed and refractory multiple myeloma. I have nothing to disclose. GC0 and GF is a second generation BCMA and CD19 dual targeting CAR-T. As we know, BCMA is a universally expressed on malignancy plasma cells and a well-established target for multiple myeloma. CD19 is expressed on myeloma cells and a subset of progenerator cells. From previous study, CD19 can trigger administration of malignant cell by CAR-T. This loop CAR structure of this drug project enables stable CAR expression and effective functionality. Therefore, targeting both antigen to maximize the el administration of myeloma cells in the CD19 progenitor population and drive deep and the durable response. gc 0 and f is manufactured on the Nova Foscar platform, enabling next-day manufacturing. The platform was designed to overcome major challenge of conventional CAR T cell, one of which is a lengthy wait time between a pharmacy and the fusion for patients which put them at a risk of, of rapid disease progression. Another potential advantage of the first CAR T manufacturing is enhanced T cell quality with less exhausted T cells. Here's our study design. This is a multi-center open label single arm IIT study. We treated 29 patients into three different dose levels from one time to 10 to fifth power to three times 10 to fifth power per kilogram. We are reporting date with the date cutoff of April 12th this year. Here are eligible criteria, which is similar to others. The primary endpoint was safety and the secondary endpoint including ORR, BOR, MRD assessment, and the PK and the PD amongst the others. This table shows you the patient's characteristics. Notably, 90% of patients were evaluable as a high-risk profile according to MSMART3 criteria which 10% double hit and the 2080 has an extra mandarin plasma cytomass. mass. The midi prior line are therapy at five. They are very heavily pretreated patients with 97% patients who were triple exposed with 93% PI refractory and 93% EMIS refractory. 34% patients had received a CD38 target therapy and 93% were refractory to their last therapy. This is the response assessment. We observed 93% with the best response achieved over PR. Nearly 38% patients achieved SCR-MRD negativity. 89.6% of patients achieved VDPR or better, the median duration of the response in all patients were uh, 38 months at a day cutoff. The median duration of the follow-up uh, was 30.7 months, ranging from 1.9 to 45.6 months. Here's our MRD result. 100% of the available patients achieved MRD negativity. One way assessed the MRD by usual flow at one month, six months, and 12 months with a 10 to minus six power sensitivity. 100% of available patients achieved the MRD negativity at max six. When we pay more attention to the 12 months analysis, nearly 80% of patients assessed by usual flow remained MRD negativity. Here are the PFS analysis. We observed that the mid PFS uh, was 38 months at a date cutoff amongst uh, the high risk patients' population. 
the longer PFAS uh, were achieved in patients with uh, 12 months, uh, still MRD negativity. This is the safety profile, which is similar to previous finding. It showed the most low degree CIS with 40% of no CIS. And uh, uh, 31 patients uh, have a grade two and only two patients grade three. There was uh, no grade four or five CIS observed and no ICANS or neutral toxicity observed in our patient. The most uh, common hematologic uh, Adverse event were neutropenia, lipopenia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia. For the non hematologic adverse event, were very uncommon. We only observed 29% uh, of patients get the ASCT increased, and 40% hypokalemia, and the three and the percent of the hypocalcemia. In terms of uh, pharmacokinetics, this is the relevant F exposed well in all patients with a long persistent uh, in all dose level with a limited detection at 30 copies per microgram DNA. Pmax was day 10, and the median peak copy number was nearly 97,000 uh, copies per microgram genomic DNA. 40 patients with long-term persistent at 12 months. When we compared the media and the genomic meal for the AUCD0 to 28, there was no difference observed between the dose levels. And then we detect the, the syndrome BCMA level we observed it decreased rapidly in all those level post CAR T infusion, which is ref, uh, reflected in the fast, deep, and the durable response observed. Okay, let's make a conclusion. GC3N2F continued to show a favorable safety profile and no uh, new safety finding in the long term follow up. Especially, this drug product demonstrated a very high overall response rate of 93% in mostly high risk patients. Nearly 83% MRD negativity as CR to date. Patients still be followed for response assessment uh, for best of response. It deserves to point out that we saw very high MRD negativity. Uh, in available patients at 100%, even by the Euroflow assessment. GC0-1-3-F demonstrated fast, deep, and the durable response with the median DOR of the 37 months with uh, patients still in follow-up. So taken together, GC0-1-3-F uh, during targeting CAR-T show a very promoting activity in relapse and refractory multiple melanoma patients, including high-risk and heavily pretreated patients. We want to thank the patients and their families, and also uh, thank the Gracie Biology for providing study products. Thanks to all the teamwork and the good cooperation. Thank you.